Hello and welcome back to this episode of Rad BMX Builds. My name is Sean and I'm glad to have you here. Today we're finally going to finish up this 1986 Schwinn Predator Freeform Z. Back in high school in the late 80s, my friend Mark had this bike. Not this exact one behind me, but it looked like this exact one and it was stolen. I rode a baby blue PK Ripper back then and as you know if you follow my Instagram page you've seen that bike. What I'm going to do is build this bike for my friend Mark, finish it up in this video and then we're going to ride our high school bikes around together. A couple old middle aged guys on our 80s BMX bikes reliving our youth. That's what this is all about. Now let's take a look at the bike. Okay, what you have here in front of us is a 1986 Schwinn Predator Freeform Z. I got this bike in real rough shape and it's been kind of an ongoing part-time project for the last two to three years. So I bought this bike, re-powder coated it, re-decaled it. As you can see, this is a beautiful orange. I found a new old stock pad, but it needs a few things too. And I'm gonna swap some of those parts out. You can see these tires are definitely yellowed. So we've got some bright white Kenda K55s. These are the original Araya rims, the original Sugino chainring spider and cranks. These are the original pedals, but they're pretty yellow. They are in good shape. I'll clean them up later. But for the temporary purposes of something new, we're going to put that on there. I have some brand new mushroom grips. And if we come around to the front, it has the original die comp front brake on there. But I took this off a Schwinn Yo scooter that I had and I want to replace that front brake with a Yo front brake. This bike has the original Dominator seat. You can tell it's an original. This riding is not in gold. And I bought all new cables for the ACS rotor, which are going to be a little tricky putting all together, but it's going to be worth it to have all new lubricated cables. And I've already redid all the bearings on this bike. So it's going to ride like a brand new 35 plus year old bike. Okay, welcome back. Finally, my friend Mark is here. We get to give him the Schwinn. I can't wait, I know you can't wait. It's been a really long time, but this video took a while to make, took a while to build the bike, took a while to get Mark to come over. I know I originally planned to go to Las Vegas, but things changed, I moved, and I got Mark to come out here, and he's here now in the other room. So we're gonna do a reveal. He doesn't know about this bike yet. He hasn't been out here. I can't wait to capture his reaction and see if he thinks it looks exactly like the one he did have in high school. So we'll get a, a real reaction from him in just a minute, but I wanna show you the 1986 Schwinn Predator Freeform Z. This is a restoration. I got it in pretty rough shape. Had to re-powder coat it, re-decal it. But this is about as close as original as you can get, except for two parts. I swapped out this brake with the original brake to a Schwinn yoke. And I swapped out, what else did I swap out? The pedals, which the originals are up here. So you can see the original brake, the die comp brake, and the original pedals, but they're pretty banged up. I'm also gonna send him home with some extra parts, the Schwinn Yo Rock and Roll Seat, which is an amazing condition. Everything still works on it. And I'm gonna give him a set of brand new mushroom ODI grips for it that are a little more white because these ones are getting a little worn from moving it around. But that's the bike. Let's go ahead and get Mark, have him come out here and get his reaction. <laughs> Dude, that's my bike, man. <laughs> Holy crap. That's my freaking bike, dude. That is amazing. I stole your bike. Dude, you were the guy who stole it back in like, what, 88? <laughs> <laughs> so you think that looks just like your high school bike? Yeah, it does, man. Everything is on it. Yeah, those are, the, those are even the original tires that came on it, man. That's wild. That is insane. So you, oh my God, man. I wanted this for my collection because you know I have the PK Ripper that I yeah. had from when we were in high school. Yeah. So I wanted to get our high school bikes and I wanted oh to build God. it and just add it to the collection. Dude, that is insane. I cannot believe how good that looks, man. It looks, it's almost exactly like it looked when I, when I bought it from the bike shop in Topeka, Kansas. Wow. 
How much did you pay for it when you I, bought it? I think it was two twenty five is what I paid before taxes. This cost me more than two hundred twenty five bucks to build. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure. Oh my god, man, this is incredible. Yeah, it did take me a while to build, finding all the right pieces, and then honestly, it was one of those projects in the background because yeah. I didn't put a lot of effort and time to finish it in a hurry. So I've been sitting on this for about two years. Wow. Yeah, I, I traded a Dyno 24 inch bike for this one, but it was in really rough shape, original beat up shape. So I powder coated it, decaled it. But yeah, I kept it as close to original as possible. So yeah, I'm glad yeah. you think it looks just dude, like your old bike. Yeah, and it's got, dude, it still has a rotor on it, man. God, that was like the, that was like the, the cool kid. Cause I had a rotor, nobody else had a rotor. Yeah, everyone had gyros if you even had anything yeah, like that. Had it. Yeah, most of my friends back then didn't even have it. Everybody was still riding just straight BMX bikes, no freestyle stuff. Well, I gotta be so, perfectly honest with you. I hate ACS rotors yeah. because they're a pain in the butt to put on and mm -hmm. adjust. And you, you're gonna have to adjust these brakes. Like I got it all routed, brand new cables, brand new everything. And I'm gonna tell you, routing it through these the yeah. frame uh -huh. was a nightmare. Yeah. Um, but I found out a trick, and maybe I should do a video about that, on the best way to route it through that frame, because it was not easy. But once I figured out the trick, it wasn't too bad. Uh -huh. But I hate you, ACS Rotor. You literally stole hours of my life that I'll never get back. So most of my bikes have gyros, my freestyle bikes. That was my first rotor that I've actually dealt with. Mm -hmm. And I actually have a secondary rotor in a box, and I don't even know what to do with it. I should probably just sell it. I uh, Do you remember when I switched over from the... From the rotor to the gyro it was because my the stem got bent and it wouldn't the brakes wouldn't work oh i remember that yeah yeah, yeah the stem actually bent enough to where i pull a lever and nothing would happen it's all those curb endos yep exactly yeah yep wow dude man that is insane i cannot believe how good this looks it is it looks just like the original man oh, i'm glad you like it that is absolutely crazy. it gets it's in the background of a lot of videos and photos and people are always asking about it and Honestly, my audience kind of knows what my plan is, and my plan is to just tell you it's yours. What? You can have it. No way, dude. I built it for you. Dude, that's insane. I want it. Are you in, serious? Yeah, I built it because I want to have like that memory of you and I back in high school on our old bikes. Oh my god. Yeah. I built my high school bike. Yeah. I built your high school bike, and you're you've been a good friend all these years. I have not been as good a friend as you were. So this is my way of kind of giving back a little bit, and it's oh, yours. Dude, this, I can't believe you're giving it to me, man. 100%. It's bad enough just to see it. It's cool enough. Well, this is like badass. Man. I hope there's room in your car to take it home, because I'm not keeping it. Oh my god, yeah. I'll take it. Heck yeah. All right, well, congratulations, that, dude. That is, that is amazing, man. I can't wait to roll on, the, on that thing, man. Yeah, Roll well, on a strip or something, Fremont Street. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, I'll, uh, I'll get one of the PK Rippers down, and we'll get this, and we'll uh, go outside. And get them in the sunlight and uh, maybe get a little footage of you and I on our old bikes. Yeah, there we go. Right. Sounds good, man. Let's do that. Cool. Right off. We were a lot thinner last time we were together. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a wee bit. A wee bit thinner back yeah. then. All right, that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you liked it. I know Mark's totally stoked, really likes the bike. I hope you liked the footage. If you did, make sure you subscribe, and as always, stay rad. Okay, that's gonna do for this. I know.